Hi. In this demo, I want to generate a document from Salesforce and store it in an AWS uh, S3 bucket. So that's storage from AWS, and I want to store my file right here. So let's take a look uh, on how to do that. I've already set up an, uh, an actionable on my pack to actually store the file in AWS. So I'm first going to show it, and then afterwards, I'm going to show you how did I set it up. Cool. So let's uh, click the button. It will now generate a document and actually store that document in AWS. If you want to uh, check it out, then here indeed, here is my document. I can now delete this document again. Uh, yeah, I have to permanently delete it. And then I can, of course, run this again. And you will see that the file is actually generated again. So let's uh, restore. And indeed, my file is now here. So uh, this is how I can generate the documents. But now, how do how did I do it? Um, I created a doc config. Uh, and in this doc config, I created a pack. And on the pack, I have uh, indicated that this pack uh, with an after actionable, as you can see right here. So on the pack, I have created an actionable. And then this after actionable actually runs a class. It's an after actionable, so it means it runs after the document has been generated. Let's take a look at the class. The class actually doesn't do that much. It's called the uh, AWS service, and the AWS service takes the uh, um, the documents, that's the base64 format of the documents, and takes the uh, target name, so that's the file name, and then returns the uh, message that everything was uh, successfully uploaded. So that's the message that we see when I click the button here, and then the uh, the document, the message here shows that it's successfully uploaded. So that's the message that comes directly from here. Now let's take a look at the service. Uh, in the service, what do we do? We actually don't do that much. We uh, just say, okay, let's use an AWS named credential because it's very complex to set up the authentication for, uh, for AWS. So in the named credential, I have uh, created, I have obviously indicated that um, I want to connect to AWS. So uh, it's via a named principal. There is a type called AWS Signature version 4 that I have to use. I'm going to use the access key and the access secret. For that, we cannot help you. You have to get that via your uh, AWS administrator. I'm indicating in which region that I am uh, have my uh, S3 bucket. So that's in, uh, in EU because I live in Belgium. That's Europe. And then I want to use the S3 service. So. The uh, URL is also important. This is the uh, name of my uh, bucket. Dot the service that's s3. Dot Amazon AWS. Dot com. So that's uh, yeah, that's how you generate uh, how you construct this uh, URL. Okay, cool. So uh, that's my named credential. Now uh, on my named credential, I'm gonna uh, add the file name, but I have to make sure that I replace all. Uh, spaces in the file name with percent twenty. That's what a browser does uh, when a URL uh, has spaces. So uh, this is the same thing we have to do when we call actually to with a file name with spaces on a, on a AWS S3. So this is all uh, rather straightforward. Uh, so uh, uh, I'm gonna pass on the file as a blob. So that's the blob that is uh, passed on, and that one comes directly from PDF Butler. So you don't have to do any convergence. You can just say, here's the blob from PDF Butler, the base64 format, and that's exactly what I'm going to pass on to, uh, to S3. And then, yeah, I'm going to do the request. And then when that is done, the uh, file ends up in uh, AWS directly over here.